everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now, now, from the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. What's up, guys? Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas from Monster, Monster World. Coach Michael Burt, I hope everybody's doing great. What's up, Lisa Perry? I'm going to let a few people get, get on here with me, and then I got a good message. Alan Evans, Phil Everett, Big E Hensley, Dusty Wilkerson, Doug Raines, Daniel Hodges, Mark Warner. Merry Christmas from the Monster Nation. Coach Michael Burt, hope you guys are doing great today. Hope you're having a great Christmas. Uh, we've been busy doing all the things that you do at Christmas, and I came up to the uh, Greatness Factory to get some books and just do a little tidy up, and I thought, you know why I'm here? Come on, man. Why don't I just do a super coach? <laughs> My wife's probably going to click on here and go, hey, you're supposed to be at the house, but you know you can't keep a super coach down for so long, right? Phil Leverett, Merry Christmas. Joe Giglio, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Melissa Allen. Hope everybody's doing great. Doug Jackson, what's up? Moose, Curtis Sutton. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a couple things to you today, and I got, a, I got a good, strong message for you because I have been off. Uh, when I say off, I've been in a creative sabbatical for, uh, for a week or so, and typically like an entertainer at the end of the year, after I've played 300 shows, what I do is I kind of go into the woods, and what I really do is think. And I think about what I liked about this year, what I didn't like about this year. I think about how I want to redesign my business, how I want to redesign my life. And this really started when I was a women's basketball coach, is you would push so hard through the year. I mean, you know, 41 games a year, preseason, the summer, you know, the postseason, that at the end of every year, I would take a break and I would, I would go into the woods. I would go on sabbatical. Uh, Myra Haley, and I would I would basically take some time off, and I would then ask myself, do I want to come back and do this again? And I made a made a promise to myself that what the, the year that I didn't want to come back, if I ever didn't have that feeling to come back, if and I hate the word feeling, if I didn't have the drive, if I didn't think I could do it at a high level, that that would be the year that I retired. And so when I started this business, you know, like an entertainer doing three or four hundred shows in a year and pushing as hard as I could push. Then, then at the end of the year, I need a break, you know, and I just take some downtime typically from December 15th to about January 3rd or 4th. What's up, David Latham? And so today I want to talk about a, a natural feeling a lot of you may have here at Christmas time, which is a, which is a frustration. And um, I personally have experienced this during, this during this break, maybe more than I have in a number of years, is just a feeling of both. Uh, the mixed feeling of both gratitude and frustration. I'm, I'm thankful and I'm happy, but I'm dissatisfied. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I've been in a state of just frustration this, this, uh, this Christmas. And um, even my wife said to me, you know, I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen you this negative. And I'm, it's not that I'm negative. It's just, I'm frustrated. And so I thought about this because I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of people that are out there, you are feeling the same levels of frustration. And, and I, so I was thinking about it today, like where does the frustration come from? If you're successful, if you're grateful, if you're pushing hard, if you had an incredible year, if you had the biggest year of your life, why in the world would you still be frustrated? Well, I think I, I, think I figured it out. I think it clicked with me today. LaDon Townsend and Cindy Taylor and Ronald Bland, I think it clicked with me today. It's because at Christmas time, everything stops. Everything stops. The world stops. Like, like even McDonald's was closed today. Like, 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 like everything stops at Christmas. And a natural motivator for people is progress, energy, movement, circulation. Now, I'm not saying it's not a good thing to stop because I do think it's a good thing to stop. I just think at Christmas, there's, when I think about three states of energy, and I, I talked about this, Paul Parkinson, in my book, Everybody Needs a Coach in Life. You're either dynamic, you're static, or you're entropic. Dynamic is engaged, moving, circulating, taking action. Static is stuck, uh, feel like you're in a rut, frustrated. And it's because I think there's two reasons that we're frustrated. And one is because we know what our potential is, 
and 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 we're not there. So there's a big gap between I'm here and I really feel like I should be here. And between that gap is this gap of frustration. So one is if you're incredibly motivated, if you're if you're a person who is pushing and driving and striving, no matter how much success you have, you're going to feel like you're coming up short. And at, at and I think at Christmas time, you just have a chance to stop and think about that. And you're like, man, it, you know, we had an incredible year. We had the biggest year ever. We've made tremendous progress. And so I've been thinking, like, how do I get out of this frustration? How do I get you out of this frustration? I want to sit down and map out all the progress that you made this year, either qualitative or quantitative. Just sit down and write out all the things that you accomplished. If you read my new book, Inside the Mind of a Monster, I talk about these feelings of frustration in the beginning. Like, it was, you know, when I turned 42 and people said, slow down and enjoy life a little bit more and relax some. And let me tell you something when I slow down, I get frustrated. When I slow down and I'm not in the game, I'm not in the fight, I'm not pushing. I, you know, I see work as the distribution channel for my talents. And so because I see that is when I'm not working and when I'm not pushing and I'm not striving, then I feel, I feel frustrated. So remember these three states of energy. And I think at Christmas time, we just stop and we, we, we look at it. And it's kind of confusing. It's like, well, why am I frustrated? We're successful, got a great family, got a great everything. Why, why am I so frustrated? Well, it has to do with where you are versus where you think you're capable of going. Not, not where you are is bad, just where you are versus where you could get to. And you're seeing, and as you age, you begin to say, hey, time is more limited and fixed and finite, and I got places to go. So why do you feel like this? Three states of energy. You know, one, uh, dynamic, static, and tropic. Christmas, you stop. You feel static. You feel stuck. You probably eat, overeat, and you feel like you're just not, not enough movement, not enough energy. Now, in, in class this month in Monster Producer, I've been talking about four big confusions, and I want to I show you the biggest confusion. That I think that I think a lot of people are focused on, and it's right here. This one, the next move confusion. See that? See these four big confusions. One big and confusion is a problem that appears to have no solution to it. A confusion is, man, why am I here at the same point I was last year? Why did I make the same amount of money? Why do I still feel stuck? Why am I not progressing like I should? Those. That's a confusion. Okay, if you could figure it out on your own, you'd have already figured it out. Okay, if I, if I could figure out some of the confusions in life of, of where I am versus where I could be, I'd already figured it out, guys. So we need the help of other people. So I said there's four big confusions. There's a time confusion, like well, how should I be using my time? There's a responsibility confusion, like who should be in charge of what? There's a next move confusion, and there's a team member confusion. But this is the one I want to focus on today because this is where part of our frustration is coming from. It's like what's next? what's next in our life okay it's like okay i've been there i've done that i've achieved this i've achieved that like what is next okay so if you're like me hit the like button share this with other people if you're like me you, you are most alive when you're creating things you're most alive when you're engaged you're most alive when you're working you're most alive when you're pushing and exerting and, 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 and moving towards something. Well, Christmas time, none of those things are happening typically. A lot of people are, like I said, stagnant. They feel stuck. They feel, uh, they feel there. And they're looking at their life going, come on, man. What, where, where could I be? So this is a time of year that I typically take sabbatical, no different than a pastor does, no different than, you know. And, and what I do is I start asking myself, how do I want to redesign this business going into 2018? What's up, John Muscott? Roy Fraser, Victor Maya. John's one of our newest 25K members. Excited about having him and coaching him. So, so here's what I know. If you're a monster producer, you're most likely frustrated at Christmas. You're frustrated because you don't feel like you're moving or you're looking back and you're thinking you didn't make enough progress, and that's perfectly okay. So when you're redesigning your business for next year, and the business should be there to serve your life, not run your life. The business should be there to serve your life, not run your life. Then you want to design it around three things. Number one, here's what I love doing. And when I say love, yes, I mean love, passion, energy, fire. Here's what brings me energy versus subtracts my energy. And number three, what's highly profitable. So when I'm designing these things, number one, Jason Connor, what I love doing, what what's, brings me energy versus drains my battery, what's highly profitable. If, if you're designing your, your life and you're designing your business, then who, who's writing the book? Covey used to talk about this. Victor Maya knows he's been studying Covey. Covey talked about you are the author of your life and you're writing the book of your life. 
which gives you the ability to recreate. When God gave us independent will, the ability to recreate, reimagine ourselves. So when you're thinking about this, I think it's important you take the sabbatical. I think you take the sabbatical, which is to give you clarity. For some people, it's one day, it's one week. Okay, tomorrow I'm headed down to Florida for a couple of days because sunshine, uh, open skies, and, and, and getting my mind ready for 2019. Okay, so I take the sabbatical, I get clarity, I decide which actions I want to take. And then I come back and I take those actions with tremendous force and energy. See, big time monsters do not use frustration. Kyle Turnham was the men's basketball coach at Riverdale when I was the assistant coach there. And he used to say, Coach Brubaker, frustration is just misguided enthusiasm. It's just something on the inside of you that wants to come out and you don't quite know how to express it. So you get frustrated and you, it's, you seem irritable and you seem like you, you want to, you, you got some inside of you that's just like wanting to, but you don't know how to boom, pop it out. So what do you, what I think you do during December takes go sabbatical, decompress, get clarity of thought, de redesign the business, redesign the business around what you love, what you what brings you energy, what's highly profitable, redesign life, redesign energy, redesign the whole thing. Then come back, take action, except take a lot more action than what you've been taking. Okay. Take a lot more action. So I want to close with this. I take any questions that you have. Um, the next move confusion is literally the biggest frustration I see with successful people and sometimes not successful people. The next move is like, what's next? What's next? I've been here. I've done this. I've accomplished this. I've gotten to this level. Like what's the next big move in my life? Okay. That, that's the biggest frustration I see people have. It's like, it's like they're moving, but they're stuck. Okay. Dynamic, static, and tropic. Dynamic, static, and tropic. Like what's the next big thing? Now I'm going to take you back uh, 11 years ago. I was a high school basketball coach. I just won a championship. I was at the top of my game. At that time, um, I was voted the number one coach in Tennessee, and I came back one more year, and, and, and I was like, man, I'm itching to do something bigger, but I don't know what it is. I'm itching to do something bigger, but I don't know what it is. I had a next move confusion, and I, and I left one day to go speak to a company, Reeves Sane, Senator, Senator Shane Reeves, and I went over there and spoke for an hour, and on the way back, I'm like, man, I'm supposed to retire today. Like, like I need to retire from this. It's not quitting. I need to, I need to take all of this stuff I've learned and I need to use it in a, in a bigger arena. And the number one question I get asked is like, how did you go from being a high school basketball coach, to, you know, build a monster producer and building this coaching business. And, and that day I, I made a decision and the decision came after the sabbatical, took time off, asked myself, do I want to come back and do this again? Because if I'm coming back, I'm coming back 100%. If I'm not 100%, I don't need to come back and do it again, right? I need to retire from what I was doing, and I need to go do something much bigger. So I took the sabbatical, got clarity, went in that day and retired, told my players. My players cried. I cried. It's all I'd ever done since I was 15 years old was coach people. I'm leaving this, and I'm going to go do this. I had no money in the bank, maybe 7500 bucks. I had no lines of credit. I had no investors. I had no nothing. I had no explanation of service, no selling system, no follow-up system, no extraction referrals, no books on person of interest. I didn't have any of this stuff. All I had was this deep conviction, right, that I could go out into the world and I was supposed to be helping. Well, this Christmas, I feel that same thing, okay? I feel like that. there's that itch, man. That itch is like, okay, that's a frustration. It's like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be doing something bigger. How, how, how do I get from where I am to where I'm supposed to be? And you look at big time people and you think, man, the dude, the dude, not me, but you look at big time people, it's like, dude, the dude's already doing big things. But when you talk to those people, they're doing little bitty things. Like I think all the stuff we've accomplished has been small in comparison. It's been small in comparison to what I could be doing. And so I'm evaluating this. So if you got a next move confusion, you say, well, what should I do? If you're out there and you're watching this, you're like, man, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated as heck. Well, you're most likely frustrated because you're in a stagnant place and you're stagnant because everything stopped. Now that you stop, now you got a little time to think. Now you got a little time to think. You're looking at life and you're like, here I am versus where it could be. And that's what I want to do. So, so what can you do? I strongly urge you to pick up a copy of my book, This Ain't No Practice Life. This Ain't No Practice Life is my book about seven big decisions I think you got to make in life. 
it, it's a book about doing something big. Everybody needs a coach in life is, a, is, is also a good book. Uh, if you feel frustrated or stagnant and inside the mind of a monster, the new book is a book. So, so I see Carrie Ann Sear on here and, and, and I would probably tell you that, that no matter what kind of success Carrie Ann Sear has, she, she's always bumping up versus what she's capable of doing. And that, that's kind of what makes her a big time person is because you look at a person that's doing that and you go, man, I wish I could do that. She's looking at herself going, I did this, but I'm capable of doing this. Okay. And that's where this frustration at Christmas comes in. So if you're out there and you're watching this, okay, if you're out there and you're watching this, thank you for all the Christmas messages, by the way, the text message, Merry Christmas to you. I love coaching everybody. Um, if you're out there, your, your confusion is what's next for you. What's my next big thing? And I would just ask you to, to, to I'll close on this and I'll take any questions you have. Remove the confusion by asking yourself this. What do I love doing? I mean, freaking love. Not like love. There's a period of your business. You got to embrace the suck to do things you don't like doing to get to this point. But at some point, you go away and go, this is what I love doing. This is what brings me energy. And this is what is highly profitable. And if you can get to those three things when you redesign your business, Brandon Baca, and you get to those three things, man, this thing's going to just blow up. And, 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 there's going to be points of frustration. Embrace them. That's a good thing, man. Big time monster producers use frustration as fuel. They don't use frustration to contract and retreat. So, so when my wife is saying you're, yeah, you're, you're just irritable, you just, you know, you're just irritable it's because I feel like I'm not making progress. And, and I'm like, it ain't got anything to do with you. It ain't got anything to do with how grateful and stuff. It's got everything to do with where I am versus where I think I should be. And the only person that knows that, is right here and me and I got I got to be moving towards something okay so it means I got to get bigger goals they got to scare me to death I got to take bigger risk I got to take a message to the world that's where the frustration is coming from is we ain't getting there fast enough okay and the only person who knows that is you so uh Merry Christmas guys snuck up here to the greatness factory okay just got in here to myself and said man let's go in here and manufacture some greatness so you have any questions for me I'd be happy to take any questions here uh, we've been talking about frustration as fuel. Big time people use frustration, which is misguided enthusiasm, as fuel to do what? Something bigger than what they're currently doing. They do not measure themselves versus other people. They measure themselves versus their own potential. There are driving forces, which is their drive, ambition, prey drive, and there are restraining forces, which are typically the people around them uh, telling them to slow down, stop, enjoy life, relax. So there's driving forces and there's restraining forces. And, but the monster producer is looking at themselves as here's where I'm at, here's where I could be, and that's where I'm frustrated. So they got a next move confusion. Like, what's my next big move, man? What's my next big move? I'm doing something. I'm doing something. What's my next big move? Any questions you guys have for me? That's right, Victor Maya. Use fear to push forward, not to hold you back. Big time people don't contract and retreat. Merry Christmas, Doug Rains. Eric Todd, Ryan Gay. Leslie Dixon, Brandon Baca, Merry Christmas to you guys. We got a nice group of Cousin Charlie, David Ross, Chastity Davis, Laura Lockery, Melissa Pearl, Eddie Taylor. All right, guys, if you guys don't have any questions, just want to give you a shout out. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Use your frustration as fuel. Get real clear. I got seven or eight books and a plane ride down to Florida in the morning, and I'm going to get to myself. I'm going to get my mind ready for what my body's about to do in 2019, as Rod Key used to say. Okay, I'm going to go down there and get the clarity I'm looking for. I'm going to eliminate any confusion. I'm going to use the frustration as fuel. I'm going to take the sabbatical. I'm going to get clear on my thoughts and actions. I'm going to come back and take bigger actions next year than I did this year. Because what we did this year is nothing in comparison to what we're capable of doing. Okay, love, energy, profitable. That's the way we need to be designing. What do we love? What, what brings us energy, what's highly profitable, okay? All right, Merry Christmas. E. White, good to see you guys. Merry Christmas. Live from the Greatness Factors, Coach Burt signing out on um, another good year, Brad Elam. Hey, we ain't finished, Brad, 25th. We got six days to sell something, guys. We, good big-time entrepreneurs don't recognize time. They don't recognize space. They don't recognize nine to five. They don't recognize what day it is in the year. They just know they got 365 days to go out and achieve something big, okay? So you guys have a great uh, have a great day and Merry Christmas to you.